probably talked about North America. And this, this, Wikipedia does not have anything for South America. But yep, plays have seen reality in Europe. So Europe is one of the most depleted continents in terms of megafauna. Because Europe, of course, was one of the most affected. Besides, of course, North America and South America and Australia as well. But in Europe, a lot of animals that used to live, that currently live in Africa or are not in Europe. And a lot of animals that used to live in Europe but are no longer in Europe. That Europe was very similar to Africa in terms of fauna and megafauna and Asia. Okay. Animals have already been introduced. Feral deer. We introduced from Anatolia and most parts of Europe. Feral deer are a very common species of deer in Europe. And there are several species including the European feral deer as well. Which... Now, we have across Europe. They've also been introduced to Australia and North America as well. Here. Yeah. We have the European feral deer. There's also the Persian feral deer as well. Which is, which is as endangered. So, yep. We will really have to do something to make, make these species come back in population. MUFON basically, you know, has been reintroduced to other places in Europe. Which MUFON is basically wild sheep, basically. And they have been reintroduced to various parts of Europe. Which is pretty good for the species. As been reintroduced to Corsica and Sardinia as well. Muskox was reintroduced to Russia. European bison saved from extinction and used during the early 20th century and reintroduced to several places in parts of Eastern Europe. Northern Bold Ibis, I, there was videos about how they've been reintroduced to Europe, to parts of Europe, including Southern Europe as well. There was a modern age reintroduction projects underway in Austria and Spain. Bold Ibis, of course, you know, have those migratory patterns as well. What above were we introduced in the Danube Delta present and the Danube Basin in the early Holocene period. And a proxy for similar but best maneuvers who was as widespread in southern Europe during the warm periods of the Pleistocene. Domestic populations exist in Italy and Balkans. An Alpine Marmot, which has been reintroduced in the Pyrenees in 1948, will have disappeared at the end of the Pleistocene Ibex. And these are all the other species that have been that are with existing populations that are expanded, including Spanish and Alpine Ibex, Somus, Moose, Wolf, Eurasian and Liberian Lynx, Brown Bear, European Mink, Mediterranean Monk Seal, European Beaver, Osprey, White Tailed Eagle, Griffin Vulture, Eurasian Black Vulture, and Eurasian Eagle Owl. Now we're going to talk about species that used to be in Europe but now have the rest of its descendants. So, horses. This as well, and of course, the Pelagic source of species in Mongolia and the only remaining wild horse in the world has also been introduced to Ukraine, Hungary, and France. Robust cattle breeds or combination of them using as proxy for the extinct arts. The Dutch based tolls project into a construct the arts by cross breeding Sergius here, Mira Primitivo, Padre Rumia, Louisa Puriti, Puricia. Judessa and Highland cattle. While heck cattle and Galway cattle have already been used in grazing projects. Asian backbone, to the way in Europe, had two such species of its own. Own. Basically. Which means, yes, Asian black bears could be considered for rewilding in Europe in the future. Asian elephants as well. Historically present in Turkey, the rendered tropical zoos plans are using Asian elephants in the world's small world kit. Ogilvy Wilding Project. Northern Lion. Widespread in Europe during the Pleistocene. In historical times, the southeastern Europe was ranging as far as Hungary. The same as a proxy for European cave lion. The whole. Occurred during the late glacial period. The more dairy cattle could not act as a proxy for extinct European camels. Hippo problems occurred during the Pleistocene or Super World War parts of Europe. Orenza. 
Recently extinct in Eastern Europe. Poison weapon. Weapons fire into Europe until the end of place are seen as still a poison to caucus. Sega. President eats his Europe until recently. Spar Haya, the Eurasical is during the White Crystal period. Sumatra Rise, the closest sort of a European rhinoceros is physicists. If safe from extinct, this Europe could all possibly replace the extinct Brooks rhinoceros. But Sumatra rhinoceros go extinct, white rhinoceros could be used to replace Brooks rhinoceros. So that's all the species that could be reduced to Europe. Not as badly affected as America's eco ecology. Yeah. But Europe is, you know, they're finally starting to do the stuff that we have been doing to our ecosystems, trying to preserve it, and now they're doing it even better than yet. And of course, we have Siberia. With animals that have always been to choose Baxter Camel, Yak, Muskox, Wood Bison, and Yucatan Horses. With, of course, help from all been introduced into the Pleistocene Park. And of course, Sega Antelope has been in Siberian Rodeo, and Siberian Tiger and Snow Sheep could be reintroduced to the Siberian Steppe. And, so, and then of course we have Aza, which there wasn't really a lot in Aza, there wasn't really much in Aza, same thing of others like, like Australia. In Japan. But yep, there you go. North America and Europe are really the big ones. There's nothing about South America, which is sad as well. But. Here's a question. Could feral cattle be used as a, you know, of course, free raging cattle? Which, is, which basically, it should, I think that a lot of the cattle should be just left to, you know, live on their own. Of course, they have no predators, maybe except for wolves and bears in areas of the present, and cougars, which are the big predators of America. But, yeah, so that's basically about this video. Goodbye.